Good evening. Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show, Red Pill Edition. My name is Leon Jones, and during this segment, I'm going to talk about a topic that you hear individuals here in these spaces talk about, but they don't actually show it. Now, there's reasons why they don't show it, because if you're doing a video presentation, you might not be able to show it. And what I'm going to talk about is work. And this is in reference to the Black Manosphere meeting. Of course, there were some interesting topics that were talked about. Now, we didn't get to everything. But what I want to do is show you some of my work that I've done. And when I say show your work, it could be a college paper, it could be a PowerPoint, it could be any type of work that you have done. Now, why is this important? It's important because good work is production. Now, you can do work and not do work. And what I mean by that, you can put a lot of emphasis on something, but in the end, get no production at all. That's almost like saying the jack of all trades and the master of none. Now, why did I say that? I said that because when you're doing work, you need to work smart. If you work hard, all you're doing is burning the midnight oil and you become a slave. You want to be productive enough so you're able to meet deadlines when it comes to projects. Now, this is information that wasn't discussed at the Manosphere meetup. Now, let me share my screen with you all. Let me share my screen and, 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 and show you actually what I am talking about. Now, here in my screen, I'm going to show you some types of work that I've done. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm saying this because when it actually comes to doing something and you have a business, you're going to have to sell that business. And the reason why you're going to have to sell that business is because you want to gain customers. Again, this is part of networking. Now, what I'm showing you right now is something that I created. It's called a food safety resource guide. Now, this is a project that I did because now if you looked at my last video, it was supposed to go onto my STEM channel. And that was, for the most part, I talked about the micro world. That video was very important because it's during the holiday season, we tend to cook and we are not safe when we're handling food. So what I have come up with, I created a food resource safety guide is some of my work. And what I go into is hand washing and maintenance. If somebody is ill and they're at work, what to do. Food protection. I talk about romaine lettuce. Now, again, some of this might be boring to you all, but this is part of networking because if you want people to see you. You want to be able to have something that you've already produced. Something else I'm going to I'm going to show you. Let me go back to this again. And I'm going to show you something else that I have done. And let's say if you're going on a trip, okay? Well, here's something that I've created as well. This is actually a 
group project that I did if I was, let's say I'm going on a trip to Japan. Well, this is information that I've done a lot of research on. And I'll tell you about the destination. I also give you information on the business front about it. And then at the end, now I'm scrolling through it real quick. At the end, I'll show you where I got all of my information, my sources. Now, again, what I'm showing you is work that I've done. Again, you want people to see what you're doing, put it out there, even if they don't understand it. Individuals want to see action. Okay, let me share my screen again and show you some other tidbits that I've done. Now, this is, this is, of course, this is all my stuff here. Everything you see, I have, I have done, uh, including this. This is information that I got on the infrastructure bill. Now, you might not think this is important, but part of doing any type of work and showing it, you want to get a result by doing proper research. So this is the information that I got on the infrastructure bill that passed through the House and Senate. Took an article, put my own words into it. And the information I got is, is credible because I got it from the White House. Some other tidbits of information that you need to know about because you know, what I'm deciding to do is, okay, I know in this space that you get a lot of brothers, they talk about women. And I just want to tell you this. You hear the word modern woman flying around? Listen, number of these women are not going to change. Now, shout out to a brother like Red Supreme. This is his area, and, and Minister Jack, this is his area when it comes to women. And now getting women is very subjective. I'm showing you my work because I'm putting me first because in the end, I want to be productive. And I want individuals to see my productivity. Now, something else that you need to understand too, when you are doing work, and I'm actually going to share this. This is this is actually all mine. This is my resume. And when you write a resume, and this should have been spoken for at the Manosphere, Manosphere meetup, start off with an objective. And I give you a list of all of my experiences. This is all mine right here. This is my resume that you look that you're looking at. All the jobs that I've had. And when you write a resume, you write a resume that is going to be appealing to the job that you're applying for. Like, I'm a civil engineer. And you start off with your current employment. Now, it's, it's, it's very important that you understand that because something else um, that, you, that, that you need to look at. And let me type it in to see if I have it. Um, if you have a business, you should, uh, you should try doing a proposal. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, that's not it. Just bear with me. And this is just, this is actual work that I have done. And it's very important that you understand this. Now, here's a PowerPoint presentation. If I can pull it up. I'm gonna pull it up on my business quality control inspection services. So you'll know. This is networking here. Show individuals what you are about, what you're doing. Um, just bear with me while I go down and 
seek some of my seek some of my other work here. Um, Cause I have a lot of papers I've written. Some of them are old, some of them are new. Now, if you're in college, you should always save your papers. It's very important that you save your papers because you might need them later on. And what I've done, I've always saved a lot of my papers. Now, going back. This is a paper that I did on the power sector when I took, and this paper is old. This is one that I did in grad school. It goes all the way back to 2013. I saved it. And the amount of information, the amount of time it took to write this paper. What I did, I developed a project came up with all the sources, the background. I'm showing my work. This was hard work. Now this is, again, graduate level work, but it had to be done. And back in those days, we had to do footnotes. Now, why am I showing you all this? Okay. The answer is, is, is very, very easy. I'm going to answer that for you right now. I am showing you all this type of work because in the long run, when it comes to networking, to me, you can pass business cards around all day. Do you have something else that you can share with individuals that you're trying to network with? Why am I doing, why am I asking this? Well, there are going to be lots of questions to ask. Now, let me find some. Let me find some uh, other information for you all um, that you that 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 that, that you, you can see. And everything is authentic here. I did it. I did it. Let me look at my. Let me look at my my download section, everything you see, I did. Make no bones about it. And I was proud to have done it. Now, if you have a business out there, and this is real networking, something that should have been talked about at the Manosphere Meetup. Now, here is a project that I worked on for renovation of a hotel. And this is actually based on the business that I have. I did this all myself, I had to go into the research and that quality control inspection services, that is my logo. I say it because, uh, and shout out to you, brother Theo. If somebody like Theo wants to see what I've done I can present it to him. He can take my information and pass it along. So if he encounters any individual who has done any work in the area of civil engineering, he found somebody and that would be me. And he has my work in front of him. He has the projects that I've done. And again, if you're going to do any type of work, particularly the guys going into IT and you have your own business, you want to be able to do proposals. This is a proposal that I did on a renovation for a hotel. This is an actual proposal. I'm actually showing you information on work that I've done, whether it was academic or whether it was real life. It is very important that people see what you have done. Production is very important because as a man, we're always looked at for what we produce. We're not looked at societal wise for who we are. 
So if you are a man and you're not a productive man, and I don't care, look, even hustling in the streets, you're looked at for your production, believe it or not. When you do a skilled labor job, you're going to be looked at for what you have done and what you are doing. It's about production. And what I'm showing you is actual production. Yes, I'm going through it real fast. I'm just giving you an indication that I'm just not sitting up here spewing a bunch of nonsense without bringing something to the table. And I wanted you all to see this because number one, it's what I do. Number two, this is hard work. And if you're going to network, if you're going to talk about your work, you got to show it. You ever heard that old saying, action, um, action talks and bullshit walks? Well, that's what I'm doing. And here on the 401 Talk Zone radio show, here's where I'm going with my channel. Yes, I'll talk about the dating, but, but that's not as important to me as networking, showing brothers how to get jobs in certain sectors, showing them the, the different items you need to produce, whether you have a business or you're looking for a job. I'm going over information and I'm gonna utilize this when the 2022 Manosphere meetup happens, but you're getting a taste of it right now from me. And this is all authentic, this is all mine. I did this whole proposal, the outline and everything. You can see all the, the pictures, everything that I did. You can even at the at the end of the presentation, as I scroll down, that's all the information, how I found it. Now, again, it might be boring to some of you all, but I always believe in giving you something. This is why I cam up. Also, I don't do panels every day. I'm going to start doing more and more content like I used to. So what you're going to see for me is one live stream. One live stream, I'm going to feature just six people on my panel. That's all I need. I'm not looking for the clicks and views. What I'm actually looking at is helping brothers get in the fields so they can be productive. So I'm giving you some examples of what I have done. Because in the end, I don't like talking. I like showing you something. Now, in the long run, let me show you something else here too. If I if I can find it. If I can if I can find it here. Might not be able to find it, but let me go to my download section to see if I have uh, an after action review. Because it is very important that you understand what an after action review is. Some people don't. Uh, I don't think I do. Let me see. After action review. Okay, I don't, I don't believe I have it here. Uh, one more, one more shot. Or uh, I had a, I had a portfolio up. But nevertheless, here we go, right here. This is another project that I that I completed. Now again, 
This is a job that I did at the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. It's called an after action review. And shout out to you again, Brother Theo, because you had talked about this as well. An after action review is a report that you are utilizing to sum up an activity to find out where you went wrong so you can correct it. So the next time you have an event, you're not going to make the same mistakes. Now, again, in this after action report, I give you introduction, benefits. Again, this is a project, so I'm going to scroll through it real fast. This is work that I've done. Um, it's my introduction, how, how it's developed. I'm going through what was done wrong, what we need to do, and how we can do it. That's all an after action review is. It's known as an AAR. Now, again, this might seem very foreign to some of you all, but what I'm doing is giving you an idea of what I've done. Certainly, I've gone to college, gotten the degrees, but you need to see what I've done in the workforce. And at the end of the day, it's all about being productive. Again, men, particularly African American men, we need to stop setting our sights on how many women we can have sex with. That's our downfall. Making money should be at the top of your list. Let me, let me tell you this. Do you think that we are at the top of a number of women's lists? No. And to a number of women, we're just a tool to them. We're just aiding into their production because we support them financially to give us some sexual gratification. And sexual gratification does not have to be actual sex. It could be soft porn. It could be on OnlyFans. It could be anywhere that a woman is utilizing her body as a symbol that is going to entice you to get an erection so you can masturbate, or she's going to give you the appeal that you can have sex with her based on some of her positions that she is going to perform on a site like an OnlyFans or porn sites or wherever she's going. She's utilizing you to make money. So she's not thinking about you first. So as a man, you have to think about making your money being productive. You have to be able to show your work, be productive. Don't be lazy. And I find there are a number of men who are lazy. Many of them are living with women. As much as you all complain about women, I guarantee you a number of you don't have a woman, but you want a woman. Or a number of you do have a woman and she's taking care of everything. To me, that's not a man. A man should be productive. And the more productive we are, and we actually are productive, particularly black men, we're productive in a greater area than just sex, then we have our options to do anything that we want to do. Now, you have to understand as a man, we don't have that safety net. This is why you don't hear me talk about, well, who's winning this battle, who's winning that battle. I'm networking here with the men. I'm showing you how you can win. And you can win by being productive. And I know particularly black men were looked at based on what we do for others. Stop doing for others 
and do for you. Again, here's a secret. If you're gonna get up here on social media, produce something. Don't just tell somebody what you've done, let them see it. I've given you examples of what I have done. And in the long run, it should give you the incentive to go create something. Again, my name is Leon Jones. I use my real name. I do content on this channel. And I'm very confident on what I produce. And yes, I was at the Manosphere meetup. And again, I'm just giving you some information that I didn't get to share at the Manosphere meetup. Now, in the future, you're going to see this again. But I want you to know what I've done so it can give you an idea of what you need to do to produce something. You see, I'm just going to share this with you guys. There have been times where I've been down and out. And I had nobody to depend on but me. And I didn't want to ask anybody for anything because if you ask people for something, generally, they're going to throw it back in your face. They're going to remind you of what they have done for you. So what they're doing for you is not very sincere. This is why I tell you, you make a lane for yourself. And this is the difference between being red pill and blue pill. Now, a number of individuals hide under being red pill. We talk about red pill rage. No, you're talking about it from a woman's standpoint. What you need to do is generate income, generate a business, capitalism. That's what you need to believe in. Too many black folk believe in government doing everything. And for black men out there, I don't even know why you're on that government train because the government is not going to give you anything. And I just heard that in Georgia, I believe it's 600 black women who are in poverty. They're gonna be getting, getting a UBI for the next two years of $850. Now, how is that really gonna benefit African-American women? A number of them are very poor when it comes to money. They're not gonna invest in any businesses or anything, they're gonna go and buy hair, they're gonna buy Birkin bags, they're gonna buy material items that are tangible. And in their minds, it's not gonna give them any incentive to work. Why? Because they're getting something for nothing. And as a black man, you have to understand, certainly there are resources out there for us, but you have to be able to get them. And it's funny to share this with you, because next spring, because I take courses and I'm getting ready to do some home inspections. So I want to take the class. So I'm going to Purdue University here in Indiana. I just got a $1,500 scholarship. You can get resources as men, but you got to want to get those resources. You can get, if you have a business, you can get a DBE. You can get a veteran-owned business, but you have to be willing to do the work to get the money. And you cannot worry about what the women are doing. I certainly am not worried about what they're doing. All this uh, HOEs are winning. I, I could care less about that. At the end of the day, I'm winning. Why? Because I'm not giving them any of my resources. A number of you guys are frustrated because you can't get any of them. What you have to do, make a way and set yourself up so you don't have to get up. And I'm not knocking anybody who works a nine to five because I do as well, but I'm going to slowly get out of working nine to five because it really doesn't pay to work nine to five. A lot of office politics. When you go in and do a job, your job description says one thing, and then they slip in that job description other duties as a sign. And this is how they can get away with making you do useless duties. Then you have to deal with politics of coworkers and 
bad management. This is why being productive and hustling, you do it for you. Now, I'm not a real estate mogul. If you want to go into real estate, go into real estate. Be an appraiser. Take all of those classes so you can get the certifications. It's a good job. There are a lot of jobs out here. You have to be able to take those jobs. And the only way you can take those jobs is you have to want those jobs. And again, with black women getting $850 as a monthly check in Georgia for the next two years, and they're probably getting some other stipends on top of that. A number of them believe in government programs. And some of them are actually making more in government programs than they would if they were going to work. Again, it's not going to give them any incentive to go to work. As a man, it's good for you to go to work. Certainly work can be very, very stressing. But when you're productive and you're making money and you're working, you're working for somebody, take some of that money and put it away for a business. Find out what your talents are. You can go a long way and document all of your work. I was, let me see if I can pull it up. Might not be able to pull it up, but um, something you all need to keep track of too. It's called a portfolio. Um, let me see if I can, let me see if I can pull it up one moment. One moment if I can, one moment if I can pull up a, a portfolio here, might be able to do it for you, might not. It is very important that you understand, you keep track of all of your work. And I always believe a portfolio is important. And I'm going to pull one up and I'm going to show you a portfolio. Just bear with me. All right. Get back, let me share my screen with you one more time. Let me find my port, here it is. Okay, might not, might not be able, okay, I rotated it. There's a portfolio, okay? And what this portfolio does, it gives you an idea of what you've done in the past. Uh, you put it together. These are all my design assignments that I've done, everything. Now, let me give you a better one from start to finish. I mean, this is, this is what you're getting is, is, is real work, real work. It's, it's, it's work that you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be happy that you, you're going to be happy that you, you did something for yourself. Just bear with me here. I, uh, okay, here we go. I have to hook it up. I have, I have to hook it up next video that I do. But you want to be able to document everything you do, and that's what a portfolio does. And you should always have a portfolio. Take that portfolio. It's just like a, um, I'm going to call it 
Let me see if I can find it so I can share it with you all. Okay. Back in business, I'm going to share something else with you. Let me see if I, here we go. This is almost like a, a, a portfolio that I, that I had started creating. What it is, it's a synopsis of everything that I've done. It's documentation. And what you're going to use this documentation for, particularly if you're working on the job, you can actually put this together and create an RFQ, a request for qualifications proposal, if you're bidding for work. Also, if you are working in your particular your job, you can also use this information to help you write up your performance evaluation. And you date everything, just like I have done here. This is documentation to show yourself and others what kinds of, or what kind of production you've done. Again, I'm only going over this because when I network with somebody, I want them to actually see my skills. I don't want to talk about it. And uh, shout out to the individuals who did IT for Brother Theo. I'm giving you some extra information right here to actually help you develop a portfolio. So if you have to go work for somebody like a Brother Theo, a Brother Keep It Techie, a Brother Sub Zero, they will see what you have done. Certainly, it's not the end all be all, but if you have some documentation, they get an idea of what you've done because a resume isn't what it used to be. You need to be able to prove that you can do the task that you've stated on your resume. A number of individuals, they put anything on a resume to make it look good. And when you go in for interviews, they ask you questions about getting along with people as well. Why is that? Because in this culture today, they want to see if you're a right fit. It's more of a collaboration, a team type of culture than an individual type of culture. Now, you have some individuals out there who are introverts and some who are extroverts. Extroverts are outgoing. They, they can, they're very sociable, whereas introverts, they like to be by themselves. But in the end, what I am giving you is a way you can get into the workforce. And it doesn't matter if you're doing a blue collar job or a white collar job. You have to document what you have done so you can get work from others. We live in a capitalist society and no matter what field you're in, you're gonna to have to bid work. Some people would say that's something you would do in construction. No, there's a lot of competition going on out here. And if you don't know how to write a proposal, and that proposals, and I'm gonna get more into that and give you an even better proposal on a project that I was bidding for. I just gave you a academic project, but the process is the same. But you always want to be able to come to the table with something. Individuals get resumes, we're putting them online now, but what's gonna make my resume different? 
I mean, there are resumes that I would throw in the trash. If I read them. And sometimes people don't read resumes. Dual portfolio. Show some work. Because in the end, as a man, you're looking to be productive. But you're looking to be productive for yourself. Don't worry about how much sex you're getting. Make your money. And there's plenty of it out here that we can make, especially after this COVID. Take the opportunities. Don't sit home. Don't wait on the government to give you anything. Because again, as a man, particularly a black man, you're not going to get anything. Heck, you're lucky to even be running around free because you could be homeless. You could be in jail. What I'm telling you, brothers, and showing you, brothers, is a way you can get your foot in the door, get some money in your pocket, and you can go two ways. You can work a nine to five, or you can start your own business. You can be blue collar or white collar. At the end of the day, you have to make that choice yourself. I can take a horse to the well, but I can't make him drink. So in the end, when it comes to networking, and again, the Manosphere meetup was very productive. For black men, networking is very important. Even if we have differences of opinion, yes, I'm glad we had like-minded folks at the Manosphere meetup, and we need to keep it that way. But we also need to network with each other. And while we're not together and we're in our separate places at home, put videos out there to still network with one another. Because when you're productive, you feel a lot better about yourself and you have more options. Black men, let's defeat the stigma of us being broke being baby makers, having no jobs, and going to prison. Show your work. Don't show your work by society standards. Show your work for you. Yes, if you're working in nine to five, your supervisor is going to want to look at your work because he or she is going to evaluate you. But at the end of the day, after God, you're numero uno. And never, ever forget that. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 401 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube. If you like what I just presented, please comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are looking for some more educational material, you check out my second channel, The Mind of STEM. On that channel, you get a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math. And I'll be bringing the blog talk radio show back as well. I'm going to try doing that. Let me not use the word try, start that back up in January. I want to continue making some content, some 10 to 30 minute videos, and I'm only do one live stream a week. To me, that's sufficient. Individuals know more about you when you do content. Number of individuals who do panels don't really have the talent to do content. But I'm going to do content and I'm going to give you samples of what, I, of what I've done work-wise. Because in the end, I wanna help brothers become successful. Now, if you cannot find me on YouTube, or even Blog Talk Radio, you can find the 401 Talks on Radio show on Twitter, 
me, we, and parlor. I do that because more of the social content and the political content is a fit for those three platforms. Now, for my STEM work, on the Mind STEM channel, you can find me on Twitter and LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an appropriate site for professionals. And I'm not a pastor. If you'd like to donate something, you can cash at me at dollar sign L E J 01021965. Again, that's dollar sign 01021965. And at the end of the day, I'm going to leave you with this be blessed for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Always know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And if there are issues, you got to look at yourself. But if you don't have an issue, you don't have anything to worry about. So what I'm telling you is, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if the shoe fits, wear it. If you don't like the shoe, change it. And once again, thank you for listening to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. I want you all to have a wonderful and gracious night. God bless you. I'm out.